Hello Elites and welcome back to Minecraft Elite vs Wild, this is episode 146 and in this episode we are here in this toilet, this bathroom here, pooping, pooping, we're done pooping, we're gonna go now, we're gonna look around in uh, this, you know, this is the bedroom, and um, this is the living room area of this cute little penthouse apartment thing, here we are, there's Zandy's building over there, partially complete, and there's um, his little dealership, and then there's the college right there, the uh, the end building in the background and then these banks right here there's a lot of bank buildings a lot of money being saved um, we're gonna go ahead and make our way down it's gonna take a second you know what let's just use the ender pearl freaking ender pearl gets us there faster all right so yeah i was in this building right here um i'm gonna go ahead and drop and fly over past the college uh there's a the college building i didn't get anything done off camera because this episode's being recorded right after the other one because i'm catching up just as usual so uh, we're actually going to finish the buffet as you can see in this episode uh, by the title. We're going to come in here, uh, let's see, we're going to go down there. So grab this gold plate and make a, uh, make our way in. No, these gold plates, I learned that uh, they have a faster reactive time. So basically, uh, a faster thing time, whatever. So when you step on it and step off, it closes the door faster. So um, it doesn't stay open as long like it does when it's a stone one or something. So anyways, guys, we're going to be finishing this buffet here. And I, I have ideas for how I want to design it. Um, I've been to many buffets before, so uh, let's let's start with the middle and let's kind of make the design. I saw this design for like um, food table areas where they keep the food. Um, I saw this design from a video and I was like, oh, that's not a bad design. I'll kind of do that, but I'll kind of go off of it and make my own design a little bit. So um, basically, it just uses the gold pressure plates as like a like a like a plate, like one of those things that the trays that they have the food in, just sitting there under the lights. That's kind of what that's supposed to be and I'll use that idea but I'll use a different like a way of organizing this um because we gotta make lots of food lots and lots of food for the lots of city people rushing through here and eating and leaving and making a mess and oh my god I, I would hate being a dishwasher for a buffet place oh I would die I already died just working for a fast food company that's 10 times busier than the last job I had <laughs> Alright, so now we're supposed to, okay, so you can come in here and reach in the corners and eat food. Uh, let's go ahead and grab uh, the gold pressure plates, yes, for like, you know, the little trays. We'll make them out of gold instead of, you know, like the usual silver tin plate or whatever the fuck they're made out of. Those aluminum, metal. If you've worked in a fast food place of some sort, you know what I'm talking about. Like Every place has like those little trays that hold food, those little like um, pans, those deep pans. So... Yeah, that's, these are supposed to be gold ones. They're beautiful. So we're going to make these like little floating, it's going to be like the heat lights, the heat lamps that the food sits under. That's what this is, but we're going to make this floating because it's the future now, you know? Now everything floats, so, or at least if you want it to, and if, if you can afford the flotation devices. So let's just say like, just be, use your imagination. The flotation devices are in the corner of the block right there, really, really tiny. You can't see them, but you know, the tininess doesn't make a difference in how much flotation it gives. It still floats pretty well. Um, it's just, it has to be bigger on bigger objects. That's the thing. So let's go ahead and put some um, some more sea lanterns to make this more designed. Look at that. More light. Let's add more light down here because it's very dark. I have to like throw lamps on the floor, which is not good. And um, a, buff a buffet should be dim a little bit because it's inside of a building and it's kind of cute like that. Kind of nice dim lighting. So you come in here, you grab your food. Uh, let's make actually like a chest and stuff like that so we can grab food. See, I was going to put like a dispenser system, but I don't think I like that idea. Um, so let's actually grab a... Where are the chests again? Where are you at? There you are. Asshole. And we need to grab the uh, floor block, which is the uh, polished granite. And we're going to go like that so we can see the granite underneath the block. Because you can barely see it through the chest. Go like this. Oh, nice. There we go. And then do it here. Oh, crap. <laughs> I did that wrong. Do the block and then the chest. There you go. Break, break, block, chest. Break, break, block, chest. There you go. Break, break, block, chest. There you go. So, you know... <laughs> You know, Minecraft, you'll have to pretend like, oh, I'm getting food, yes! And then you just reach down in the chest right below you, so that's how that works. <laughs> Use your imagination, it's it's Minecraft. <laughs> it's a video game, bitch. Uh, we can't really cover that and go through the chest, huh? Nope. So, forget that idea, I was gonna cover it up so it doesn't look like just chest and floor, but that's okay. It's okay. 
Um, now what we're gonna do is how we gotta make seating now. So let's start somewhere. Where do we start? Uh, let's okay. First, let's start in this corner actually, and make like um, most buffet places have like the little uh the host, the host or host is standing in the front, the little like the little reservation table podium thing where they have like a book and you know you can make reservations or you could just walk in. This place will be a reservation place though because it's a city and it's expensive and busy. So you need to make a reservation ahead of time or else you're gonna run out of seats. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's make it nice and bright in this corner. There you go. And break open two holes for a door. Do that. And you go. Okay. You walk in. And um, there's going to be like. Imagine like. Should we open it on the other side like this? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't like it like that. So now let's add the reservation podium table, table thing I gave you for the host. The host podium. Right here. There you go, their little booklet. That would, it opens to you, but it should be open towards the host like this, which is cool. Um, now let's build like a little seating area for just in case you have to wait, because you know most places you have to wait if they're busy. Like I went to one time with Sandra, I went to this uh, really busy one called Hiro, Hiro, like Hiroshima, but like just Hiro. And oh my god, it was so expensive as fuck. It was a little Japanese place. It was like twenty dollars for each of us because we went for dinner on a Friday. That's why. If we would have went like for breakfast on like a like a Monday, Wednesday or something like that, something ugly, it would have been like you know five dollars each person, which is not that much. That's good. That's good because they have good ass food, dude. I need to advertise them. They're freaking delicious. All right, we're gonna do this little block design here because it looks really nice. We gotta light up this. We gotta figure out how to make lighting for everything in every corner of this restaurant so it's not so dark down here. And there's mobs running around because you know eventually we're gonna play in this world in survival, so we gotta kind of prepare it for survival so we can survive. And not die in the city. And not get mugged and stabbed for our money <laughs> in a buffet. So uh, let's go ahead and... I was thinking of this glass design right now. I was just... This popped up into my head. Uh, it's like a cool, like, glassy design. So let's do this. There you go. And uh, let's grab a countertop, kind of, like a table. And we'll put, like, a row of plants. Just for design. Just for looks. So we'll do that. That's so cute. And we'll do... Uh, this and this, do this in the middle, and do some symmetry. There you go. Um, symmetry is probably the most beautiful thing you can learn in elementary school. <laughs> it is, because now I'm addicted to it. Uh, let's see. Let's grab some more. Um, where is it? Freaking pains. Pains are a pain in the butt to find. All right. Do that. And this one, because it'll be the entrance, we could probably just go down barely like to our heads. So let's see, if we leave it like that, it looks ugly. So let's leave it like this. I don't really like that. It feels like a short entrance, you know? What if there's a tall person like an Enderman? And he wants to come eat. So there we go, that's that. And then let's do it on the other side here. Because we've got to have it on the other side also. Uh, so you can't just jump over and get in the fucking buffet. You have to pay. Uh, well, some places you don't have to pay right away. You have to, like, they seat you, you eat, and then depending on how much you eat. And oh my god, hero. They're kind of smart because, you know, they charge you for how much leftovers you leave. If it, like, if, you know, if it's, like, actually, like, if you actually scoop out all your food and it's, like, just, like, shell pieces or whatever, then they don't weigh that. But if it's, like, the shell pieces are still full of meat, they're going to weigh the meat and charge you for that. So <laughs> you better eat every little piece of it so it weighs, like, zero ounces. So, you know, they're actually pretty smart because that gets a little bit more money out of them. And it, it wastes less food. It gets all their food gone. Because people at buffets are just messes, dude. If you go to some regular place like Country Buffet or Golden Crawl, if you've ever heard of those, oh my god, people don't eat the whole fucking thing. It's annoying. It's like, what? If I was a buffet cook, I would hate people. Because they wouldn't eat it all. Like, why should I make a full portion of something when they're not even going to eat it all? I should just make a half portion and see who. If it disappears, then I'll make another portion. The fuck? Alright, so I'm trying to figure out how to make a cool little seating area. We're going to, like, dig into the wall and then, um,. Make this cute little seating area. So let's go like this. Nice gold plated tables. Make this place fancy. Let's make it so that you have to pay like freaking not even like breakfast would be expensive. Breakfast would be like forty dollars a person in the morning on like a week. Weekend at nighttime for dinner. Oh my god, that should be like six hundred dollars per person because this the city people here. There's a higher um, middle class and upper class percentage. So you know they can afford it. Um, so yeah, this is cute, you know, 
have about four people eating. Uh, let's go ahead and do this right next to each other. And I'm going to skip out on this part because it's going to be a lot of work. See? It's going to be a lot of work. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, and here we are. Uh, we finished all the tables all the way around. Uh, they're pretty cute. That little doorway right there is going to be like an office. And we're trying to get rid of these all these lights. And then uh, in between this area right here is going to be like, you go back there and there's going to be like a dish area for people to do dishes. And between that area, I don't know what I'm going to put really. It's going to be empty space probably. Um, or maybe a storage area for food. Um, but we need to figure out how to put chandeliers here because it's very dark. When I remove all the torches off the floor and all the blocks off the floor, it's very dark. And there's going to be mobs spawning. But I can see a pattern. We can put, we can go from the corner here and kind of build a chandelier. So let's go from the second one, the middle of the second one like that. Lined up perfectly. Okay, go like that. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> there we go. And let's uh, let's make a chandelier of, of our own design. Let's see. So let's go down two, maybe. Put. Let's go out each side like this. And then let's put a block in between each, like that. Like this. And then yeah, that, that's a cute design. Let's um, let's. What happens if we go around? Not all the way, but like make a little like so it looks like it's holding it, even though they're floating pieces. That looks pretty cool. I like it. And it lights up that perfect square. So let's do the same thing on the other corners and I'll be right back. Alrighty, and time for like one of the last few shadows. So there we go. And this one's a little bit different design. It's gonna be smaller, so uh, kind of the same design. Not really, it's gonna be like a circle all the way around. And after this, the whole dining room should be lit up, see? Uh, there is one spot right here, so let's get that one spot. Uh, it'll be right lined up with this one, way over there. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So lined up with this, yes, but lined up with that one, so there. And the one block, then we'll build around it in a circle. These are the smaller versions of those big ones. There we go. And that is the whole dining room done. Look at that. That is nice. Now, um, you know, off camera I can do like the dish area, the office area here, and all kinds of shit like that. Dish area, and um, I'll show you next time. So, uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope uh, you scoop subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video, okay? Goodbye, elites. Goodbye.